Okay, um, before I start with the next subtopic, I just want to finish the, the, the first one, that it was authentication. So, I, as I told you before, I have a small program that I already did. So, we will, uh, we will put uh, our username, that is Juan, and we will put just a mistaken password, uh, just to be sure that, obviously, you cannot enter just without any kind of password. So we sign it and they say, okay, sorry, intent again. Okay, now we will put the correct password that it will be, okay, like this. And you are signed successfully. Perfect. Okay, now we will continue with the next topic that is uh, session management. Okay. Um, okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So what is exactly a session management? is a sequence of requests and responses uh, from one browser to one or more websites. But what exactly that means? Okay, so um, a session uh, session management is uh, it's um, uh, it's like the intermediation between the authentication and the access control. And uh, without the without the without the session management, a user will have to continually to look back into websites to complete the sequence of work that the users wish to accomplish using a given uh, uh, user a given uh, website. So well, and actually, for example, what happen if uh, you can uh, uh, you don't have this kind of uh, session or a secure session? Well, the first step it would be that a user establish establish a session with the server. The step two will be that the, uh, the user visit the attack server from a frame. So imagine that the, the user just uh, visit another website and, and put the username and website and actually is the moment that when the, that the serv attack server re uh, receives information from the user can uh, it directly go to the server. So now this become a victim and the attacker can get uh, uh, sensitive information from this user. So, well, um, there is uh, two kinds of, uh, of sessions. Well, uh, there is more, but we will talk just for the most important. Um, the session cookie it's, uh, is, is, a, is a session where the server said, OK, and give me my, the HTML. Okay, the server said, okay, you are authenticated. Okay, I will give you a cookie. A cookie is uh, just like a frame of time that you are allowed to, to check uh, that, that website. When, you, when, when the time is finished, the person will say, okay, I finished my time, but I'm still, uh, I'm still looking. Okay, perfect, give me another cookie. Perfect, the server will say, okay, I will give you another cookie, another frame of time and back and forth until the person is not the, uh, is not the, it can be in the website but is not using but is not having any iteration so the server can just scroll down scroll down they shut down the not log out the the uh, the the username um that's the reason i put actually a, a small uh, graphic that is like they say the user say, please give me a cookie. The server say, okay, I will give you a cookie. Perfect. Mm, I it was very good my cookie, but I uh, I finished my cookie. Please give me another cookie. This is a smart example that how how the session cookie uh, works. Now uh, we have the session ID or session token. Uh, this is uh, just uh, uh, this is uh, about that. For example, now the user I want uh, they want to ask request for the um, the website the the server give a, a token and a specific topper is like a hash code and now uh, every time when the user want to interact with the website it, it will send that oh okay i want to interact with the website uh, okay the server said okay perfect um, i will give you another token uh, how this one can work for example we can tell about the Imagine that you are in Amazon and you want to buy things and uh, the chart every time that you put things on the chart in the cart uh, um, you will receive a different uh, token. 
And, well, I think that's all. Uh, we will continue with the next subtopic.